not French fish tail, just fish tail, but similar to the French fish tail because you still gotta know how to do the fish tail to do the French fish tail, which will surely be in a future video. Anyways, so yes. Hey, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing day is it four now of 365 hairstyles. Slowly but surely getting more complicated with the techniques that I am using. So that being said, fishtail braids. Lovely, simple, only complicated if you don't know how to do them. Says many people, I'm sure. Anyways, I'll be doing the same thing, similar to what I did yesterday. I'll be doing one with the hair tie and one without, which is going to be quite interesting for myself because I have never done a fishtail braid without a ponytail holder at the top or if I have, it was a French fishtail, or I'm sure it's called something different, but I don't know what that would be at the moment. So, let's just do that. I haven't put any oil in my hair today for the fact that it's starting to look pretty oily. I usually only do it every two to three days, so I'm letting it sit. I might hit it with some heat tonight. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see how that goes. So to do a French fishtail, <laughs> anyways, you gotta separate your hair into two even sections, yeah? Yeah. And it's pretty, pretty simple, looks complicated. Can be made complicated unless you do it right. So you're gonna take a small, and I repeat, small section of hair. The smaller the section of hair, the not only shorter, I believe, the braid will be, but also the more impressive looking. The larger section is the more it's going to end up just looking like a regular braid but from the outs from the outside of the section of hair I'm going to take a small section and move it to the inside of the opposite hair section so a small section from the outside To the thing, let's grab this rope hair section inside of the opposite hair section. One more time for shiz and giggles. Outside section of hair meets middle section of opposite hair. Now let's try and get a closer view. Perhaps black is not the best color. To wear, but who knows? Can you see? Can you see? I hope so. Small section of hair to the middle of opposite section of hair. Voila! How repetitive should I be? Mm. I don't know. This is going to take, obviously, quite a while. You're going to want to keep the hair taut. Just bringing the outside piece to the middle of the other piece. Um... When I do these French style, and sometimes even when it gets down to just the regular fish tail, 
I will take from the back, back here, and it uh, will create just a little bit more of the effect that we're going for. Maybe on the next one, I'll show you what it looks like if it takes from the back instead of the side. And also, do not forget to pull slightly every so often. As you reach the end with the smaller hairs, you're going to find it a little bit difficult, <sighs> but uh, I want to say this technique is just a little bit forgiving in that sense where if you have a smaller hair, like this one here, can twist it with a longer piece just kind of tuck it on in there but that looks like all I'm about to get on this it's starting to get smaller just right up that nice yep and if you do them loose enough you're supposed to be able to just yank some pieces through I've never been all that successful with it. Get a little bit more dimension. So that's a fishtail braid. If you have a piece poking out, you just poke back in most of the time. So, yep, far away. It's nice, it's cute. It's you know, same on both sides. Sophisticated yet simple. Now let's see if I can do it without a hair tie. That's, that's the question. Same concept, I'm assuming, as without the hair tie on the braid. I'll get a little bit closer for y'all. Can you see? Can you see? Hopefully. Put it top to the ear. I'm going to I'm section this way. Can y'all still see? Okay. Straight down the middle, trying to get even hair and starting from the nape of your neck we're gonna just start building this up trying to from the other side I took kind of more hairs hanging from my forehead oh 
kind of loose. Just gonna take a piece of hair, bring it over, take the glasses off once again. I like to slide off my face. Wasn't able the second time from the back. Grab some of the vape. I grabbed more just underneath what I had put before. So that just kind of grabbing from the nape secured the hair as though it were a hair tie. Grab a little piece of hair on the other side. Bring it over. Trying to keep this pretty taut to the scalp. Trying to do this pretty quick because I do not know how much space my phone has. Doing this all on my phone. I don't have a memory card in it. And it seems though as long as you keep it pretty close to your scalp, you're gonna have a nice lead off into your fish tail. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing, because I can't see the viewfinder very well. Looks like I'm pretty much in there. Pretty much can sometimes not be good enough, you know? Just gonna keep doing this though. And hope we get somewhere. And uh, just a quick note, I am in the front section of hair taking from behind just to it gives it more of a shape, more of a rounded shape. I'm gonna have to study that one day I guess figure out if there truly is a difference in the way the side of the fishtail looks. So that's gonna be a thing. But probably not. <laughs> After a while, it does about the hair tie seem to be similar in a feel of creating the braid to the one where I use the hair tie. A little bit. It's kind of looser. I feel like I'm messing with the base of it, moving it around so much, but.
Well, I believe I'm done with that side. All right. Just tie that off right there. There we go. I think this part right here is a little more awkward than this part right here. But there you have it. Hair tie, no hair tie, fishtail braid. So, yep, leave a comment in the comment section below. And I hope that y'all have a lovely day. Love to hear from you 100%. And yeah, that's the end. Bye.